Hi there, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp, and today I've got a picture book dinosaur scene card to share with you. This features lots of new dies from the recent Simon Says Stamp release, Friendly Frolic. These dinosaurs are three of the, I believe, five that were released with this collection, and they're super fun to create some really cute card designs. I like the dinosaurs not only for they work for anyone, but I think they're also really great for boys. Sometimes um, it's hard to find really great products, whether it be stamps or dies that work for guys. And I think that this would be a really fun boy card. I'm gonna start by building my background for the scene I'm creating today. And I've got a piece of A2 sized Bristol Smooth cardstock that I'm inking up with Salty Ocean Distress Ink and using the Simon Says Stamp Clouds for Days stencil. This has got the cloudy border that you can see here, a different cloudy border on all four sides, which I'm just kind of flipping it around and using that, but also some cloud shapes inside the stencil. So you have a couple of different options for clouds with this design. I am just kind of gently inking my way. I want the whole background to be covered. We're only going to be seeing a peak of this, but it will kind of peek through the foliage from the leafy frame die. So I want this entire background to have some great cloud um, just to help build that depth and depth and dimension we're looking for in a scene card. This is a card that is going to be entirely made up of dies with the exception of the stamped greeting. I love creating cards that are all die cuts. Now I did my die cutting off camera to save some time. That leafy frame is beautiful, it's intricate, and I used the Gemini die cutting machine to die cut this and it worked perfectly. I'm also taking a little 1 8 inch score tape and going around the edges. That works really well for this particular die. Um, this is really thin score tape. It's nice and sticky. And I'm going to purposely leave the leaves loose. We're gonna line this up with our background and put down our bottom layer, which in this case is the darker of the two leaves. Now I'm not gonna line up the two leaf borders I have because instead of building dimension only, in this case, we want it to be the illusion of really full foliage. And so in order to do that, I wanted to flip it and rotate it, I guess, I guess just rotate it, not really flip it, um, to kind of have it off, not even offset. It completely doesn't line up, but it still works great. But before I adhere that, anything I want to go behind that, I want to adhere. You could tuck the dinosaur underneath once you get started. I found it a little bit easier for this brontosaurus to go ahead and put him down first. And then I will add the second layer and kind of finish with my other two dinosaurs. This is also when I decided I needed to probably add my sentiment and I'm really trying to figure out what dinosaurs to use. You can see over to the right of the screen, I originally thought I would use this other dinosaur and I die cut all of the pieces and I'm just gonna save those for another project. It really wasn't working with where I wanted to put my sentiment and what dinosaurs I wanted to use. I just couldn't get them to fit. And instead of forcing it and maybe ending up with something I didn't like as well, I decided to just, go, like I said, save those pieces. I can always use them for something else. And I kind of decided to use the pterodactyl instead up high, which balances out the design so much better than what I was trying to do, where I was trying to put these three dinosaurs along the bottom edge of the card and it was just way too full. Now the Stegosaurus, I want to be partly behind a leaf, which is one of the reasons I did not put any adhesive behind the leaves when I put down these borders because that way I can tuck part of the critters back behind and part of them in front, whatever makes the most sense. Since I have the brontosaurus down and I'm going to leave the leaves unattached for now, I can very easily go ahead and adhere my stegosaurus body and I'm gonna work on the legs. And you can see by leaving those leaves loose, I'm able to tuck everything for him really easily. 
right there along the bottom edge of the card. I'm using Ranger Multi Matte Medium to adhere these. Because I'm using a liquid adhesive, pretty much when you commit to putting down your critter, you're stuck with that. And because of that, um, you wanna make sure you kinda know where everything's going ahead of time. I like to use a jewel picker. I'm also using my Spellbinders tool in one. It helps move things around. And I'm using acrylic blocks to hold everything nice and flat. When using liquid adhesive, it really helps kind of hold everything down, um, flattens it out while the glue dries. And it's just one of my favorite tips for working with a liquid adhesive. Now don't forget the eyes. There's lots of options here. I like to use cardstock eyes, so I generally die cut them from black cardstock and just inlay them into the critters. But you could also um, use Google eyes. You could use stickers eyes. You could use Nouveau Crystal Drops, a black pen, whatever you wanna do. Now I have already adhered all of these critters just paper piecing them all together. And then comes one of my favorite parts of a project and that is finishing details. Finishing details are what make your cards and your critters come to life. My favorites are an opaque white pen, which I'm using to create some nice little highlights. I also really love Nouveau Crystal Drops for adding texture, and that comes in the form of adding lots of little drops in different sizes. I added those to the underbelly and then the kind of inside wing sections of the pterodactyl. When dry, because these are so teeny tiny and they're all different sizes, it creates this really great texture rather than um, an enamel dot, which we use our Nouveau Crystal Drops for a lot. This is one of my very, very favorite things to do. I love how it feels once dry. So I'm doing that for the pterodactyl. And of course he has the white highlights all over too. And it helps to work in small areas when doing highlights. That way you don't miss an area so much. So. I'm working on the brontosaurus now. And anything hidden back behind the greenery I just left, I did not worry about that. We're gonna add highlights to our stegosaurus. Kind of just working with the two dinosaurs down here first. And I decided to add eyelashes to everyone I just like how that looks on these. Gives the eyes a little bit more character, I think, with a fine tip black pin. And then let's finish adding our white highlights. Like I mentioned, I'm trying to just work in small areas at a time. So these two dinosaurs along the bottom edge. And you'll see what I mean because I want to add some white highlight to my leaves, I think it'll help tie everything in. And I'm only going to add them to the leaves on the top layer, nothing on that back darker green layer. And I'm working one stem of leaves at a time so that I don't miss anything. It's not imperative that you do every single leaf, but I think that if you um, do a certain, do it a certain way, it's kind of, um, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but it, it really takes away. You'll notice if you miss something. So I tried to just do a little white line on anything that was visible. And I made sure and didn't do anything on that outside frame border because I really want that to still serve as the frame. And just simple white lines. I didn't do anything fancy here. Another fun thing that I think would be really cute would be to take Nouveau Crystal Drops and add some little dot detail to the leaves. That's something else I really love to do. I'm not doing that for this card, but I will add some little droplets throughout the design, add some fun texture and character to the card. Now my other favorite thing to do, which is so, so easy, is glossy accents on certain parts of the design to make glossy raised finish. In this case, the spots on the brontosaurus, on the stegosaurus, and then of course the spikes on the stegosaurus's back are all covered in glossy accents. 
and when that's dry it will have a glossy raised finish which I love and my favorite die of all time probably from Simon Says Stamp is this Mini Hearts. It has been around for years and it's always the perfect finishing touch. I'm gonna do a trio of hearts here on my card and I think that rounds out the design nicely. And I'm gonna cover those with glossy accents as well so that they are a glossy raised finish once that's completely dry. Now I'm gonna take a couple of shades of Nouveau Crystal Drops in a couple of shades of green. And this is what, where I was talking about. I'm gonna add these throughout. So some around the leaves, some on the leaves. Most of them are gonna be on the leaves. And this is just gonna help add some texture and character to the outside edges and the greenery portion of the design. And I used Woodland Green and Green Apple, I believe. The exact color names are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. And my lighter green, I think, maybe was clogged a little bit, so I had to use a little straight pen to get that out. And that's why I just squiggled a little line over on scrap paper. Um, I know it seems like maybe a lot of product, but sometimes to get those Nouveau Crystal Drops moving a little bit better, if you squeeze out just a little line of it like that, I find that I have much better luck when I go to make drops on my project where it doesn't create that little Hershey Kiss tip at the top is what I call it because I always think it kind of ends up looking like a Hershey Kiss sometimes and it'll make nicer droplets. So if I have to squeeze out a little bit of product to get a better result, I don't mind doing that. Once I have this all finished, I did decide I thought some little white highlights on the eyes would help give a little more character to my critter. So I'm just adding little dots to the eyes. I've attached this to a white side fold card base and my card is all finished. Thanks for joining me today for this dinosaur card featuring the picture book dies from Simon Says Stamp. The supplies I used to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Simon Says Stamp picture book dies that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.